Hey there! So today we are studying and practicing how to create rich and powerful low notes. So many singers are obsessed with their high notes and I get it. Those high notes come at integral parts of the song. They make the audience go wild and they can be our money notes, but often we forget about the other end of the spectrum, our rich and beautiful low notes. So when a viewer asks, do you have a video on how to sing low notes? I realized that I didn't, <laughs> so here we are. Thank you for your suggestion. I want you to first consider that if your main voice, your tessitur, the notes that should feel most comfortable for you to sing, if they don't quite yet feel dialed in yet, then those low notes as well as high notes can sometimes be more challenging to develop. You may have some bad habits in your middle range that could show up on either end of your voice, so just be patient and kind with yourself as we test some things out today. The cool thing is that allowing yourself to explore the low and the high notes can sometimes lead you to actually find more balanced and efficient way to create sound overall because you're open to new and different strategies for accessing these valuable notes and that will then benefit your voice as a whole and I urge you not just to stay in your middle voice I'm glad we're developing the low notes today because as you're warming up and you're warming up right so during your warm-up, gently stretch your range a bit, going a little bit higher than you did the day before, a little bit lower. Because if I asked you to do the splits right now, only some of you could, right? But if you started to slowly stretch each day, your flexibility and range of motion would improve. And the same goes for your voice. So make sure you're stretching a bit. For the purpose of finding balance in the voice, just for today, put aside the genre or the style that you like to sing in. Don't judge the sound as compared to your favorite artist or the sound that you want to use for the song that you're working on. Today, let's together find a neutral place for these low notes that really feel good, and then you can add the style or emotion or whatever you want to your song. When singing low notes, I want us to observe the activity of the soft palate, the larynx, the breath, the tongue, vowel creation, and the jaw. So here are two very important game rules as we play today. One, do not reach down mentally for low notes. Don't think of the notes as up or down vertically, right? The larynx will adjust for the note that you think about and you don't have to do anything extra in your mind to create that pitch. Number two, do not reach down physically for those low notes. Nope, no vertical action necessary here either. No tilting the head forward or down or squishing your chin against the throat. No pushing down inside on the larynx or the tongue for those low notes. It's just not necessary. Many of the exercises that we're gonna be working with today will be on vowels. Ah, a, e, o, u, e. So why? Vowels carry your sound, your beautiful voice, your tone. Consonants p, t, f, do not carry the core of your sound. We need to give our vowels lots of love as we sing, and that holds true in low note land as well. So here's a cross section of the larynx. Let's take a look at this. Let's consider this idea. Instructor Ken Bozeman talks about thinking of this space as two rooms, with the tongue as the divider between the two. So playing with this idea, here is one room, and here is the other, and the tongue is in the middle. Think of the soft palate as the ceiling, and the glottis as the floor. Now the glottis is the place where the vocal folds come together right behind this cartilage. Okay, today we're focusing on this room and the room divider. So, soft palate position, or the ceiling as we're calling it, let's find your soft palate. So do a closed mouth yawn. Mm -hmm. And feel that soft palate go up. Or look in the mirror and raise your uvula. Okay, your uvula is that little thing that hangs down and it's connected to your soft palate, or take your finger, and this is kind of gross, but take your finger and move from the hard palate here, right, all the way back until it gets soft. 
and that is your soft palate, right on the roof of your mouth, okay? So we want the ceiling of your room to be up. It is very tempting when singing low notes to let the soft palate or your ceiling drop or droop as you go down in pitch. I really want you to resist this habit. So let's try this now on a sighing, slidey ah. Okay, and we're gonna focus on keeping that ceiling up as we move down in pitch. Ah. Ah. Focus on keeping the ceiling up or that soft palate lifted, okay? Again, let's try it again on a sighing, slidey ah. Great, okay, so now we're gonna look at the floor or the glottis. Let's look at the larynx or feel the larynx position, okay? Because I really want to encourage a relaxed larynx position, a neutral starting point for you. So feel where your larynx is right now as you're speaking and gently put your fingers on that thyroid cartilage, also called an Adam's apple. Your vocal folds or glottis live right behind this cartilage and I want you to say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it will move a little bit as you choose to go up and down with inflection, but not a whole lot. Now, unless you're speaking too low already or too high in your normal speaking voice, then this will be your neutral larynx position. <clears throat> Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. right? So keeping your fingers on your thyroid cartilage or your Adam's apple, let's do a slide on ah, and let's choose a pitch that's a little bit higher than your speaking range and move to a note that's lower in your speaking range. Ah. See, I really feel it drop there at the end. Great. Feel the larynx gently moving as you easily slide from high to low pitches. Now let's do it on the E vowel. E. E. There we go. You can feel that when you start to make that higher pitch on that E sound, the larynx will tilt making the vocal folds longer and helping you create that higher pitch or note. Now, as you slide down to the lower notes, your, lar your larynx will shift to make those vocal folds shorter, creating the lower pitches. Pretty cool, right? So let's do it again so you can feel it move naturally. Let's do it on the E sound. E Awesome. Now let's add in the idea of that raised soft palate, keeping your ceiling of your room high as the larynx shifts to allow for those lower pitches. And you can do it on A or E, doesn't matter right now, just explore. Good, and don't be tempted. You don't have to open your mouth too big on those lower pitches. Really just easy does it, relaxed mouth position. Can we play with that again? Because I really want you to feel it. Ah, good. Now we're gonna layer in another idea. I want you to bring your attention to the air that you're allowing to move through the instrument. Okay, so we're gonna do it again and allow for just a more quiet sound. Great. Let's do it on the E sound. E. So if you are struggling with big clunky shifts as you enter that lower range, you may find that that shift from top to bottom feels a little less clunky when you're more quiet.
The larynx is able to make adjustments without undue breath pressure or extra muscle activity. So let's try it again. Quiet sound, sealing up, relaxed larynx on the ah. Oh. I need to do it again and do it quietly. Great. Now let's play this time with increasing the volume just a bit and see if you can still feel a smooth transition into those lower pitches. You are going to feel a little bit of a shift there and that's okay, but we want to make it as smooth as possible. So you can feel, I can feel when I move into the chest voice. Perfectly fine, right? So, female voices allow the chest voice to come in as the voice wants to shift to chest voice. Just let it go there. If it feels too clunky during that transition, then just back off on the volume a little bit in hopes of relieving any breath, extra breath pressure that may be causing those laryngeal muscles to tighten. So a quieter tone may just relax the muscles a bit as they shift the vocal folds from long and stretched vocal folds for the high note to short and fat vocal folds for the low notes. Male voices, you too can play with that quiet to medium loud tone just to smooth out any transitions that you may be feeling as well. They won't be as dramatic as in the female voice, but the larynx will want to move freely to those lower pitches. And kind of easing the breath pressure a bit can help with that. All right, so now let's explore again, just with that in mind, right? Playing with that breath. Oh, letting the chest come in for the, lip, for the female voices, for those treble voices. And now let's do it again, observing the tongue position. So remember our room visual? The tongue as the room divider. So I find that the E sound, the E vowel makes it this really easy to feel. So just in your normal speaking range, say the word me. 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 Notice where your tongue is. Okay? Me. Me, me, me. Sustain the word me and notice where your tongue is. Me. Notice where the back of the tongue is. It's high and touches the upper molars of the top of your mouth. Now the tip of the tongue is still behind the front lower teeth. Me, 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 me. In the E sound, the tongue position is high and out of the way of this room which is a good thing. So let's try, let's try sighing with this new awareness. Again, layering in high ceiling, that lifted soft palate, relaxed larynx, playing with loud and quiet dynamics, and sighing into that E vowel with that nice high tongue. E that this tone isn't powerful enough yet, don't worry, it's gonna come. We're gonna just get this baseline for our voice to work in that balance and then we can move forward. So let's move to the piano so we can play with some pitches. So let's play with the sighing in the E vowel and hanging out down there just for a few pitches. For me, this is my low range, right? So I hang out here, this is my my middle range, my low range starts here and down here. This is the lowest I can go. I will never sing this note in performance, okay? But I vocalize down there so that these notes can feel a little bit more easy. So this is my range. So we're, I'm gonna work in this area. So let's play around with the feeling of the raised soft palate, feeling the tongue in the E position, moving from the quiet to loud and back again, relaxing around the pitch, making the pitch a little more intense. And for fun, we're gonna do it on the E to me combo. And we're still gonna use some of that slide, okay? So, so here we go, we're gonna go. I 
can really feel that my chest voice wants to come in there. I'm letting it, but no extra pressure down there, right? Feel free. See, I'm playing with the vowel so I can find that little bit of ease in there. Me, I, okay, so now, how is that feeling? At this point, please feel free to go back and slowly review any of those layers that we were adding in and just remember our game rules, right? So do not reach down mentally for those low notes. Don't think of the notes as up or down vertically. The larynx, again, will adjust for the note that you think about and you don't have to do anything extra in your mind to create that pitch. Number two, do not reach down physically for those low notes. I don't, re I don't want your head moving down for each pitch. I don't want your jaw moving. I don't want any physical pressure down. You're gonna need to feel that adjustment happening. And sometimes even for me, what I'll do is I'll kind of feel like I try to hollow out a little bit so I'm not adding any extra pressure, but I'm still creating a small vowel sound. If that can make sense in there, I kind of hollow out here and I allow this to move, but the vowel sound is still focused, okay? So <clears throat> for you, as you are, Identifying what those low notes are, I start a little higher and then I move to them because I feel like it gets the breath moving, okay? So now what if we move to other vowel sounds and still keep that tongue away from the back room? So let's try it on one pitch, moving from those different vowels in our middle voice. Okay, so here's the lineup of vowels I want us to do. <clears throat> e to I, E, A, Ah, E as in me, I as in mit, E as in met, A as in hey, and ah as in awesome. So let's do it as we roll through. Let's do it again. These are non-lip vowels. They don't involve your lips. So let's do them again. And we're gonna play with how that ah feels. Pay, pay particular attention to how the ah is feeling. Ah is usually the one that likes to crowd into the back room. So just pay close attention to the tongue position so that it doesn't move back or down into the room. That tip of the tongue is still behind the front bottom teeth. We're gonna keep that room divider, the tongue, out of the back room, up, up, and away. Yes, the tongue will move a little bit, right? It's gonna have to move to create those different vowels. But what we don't want is that as we go lower in pitch, that the tongue moves back or into the tube, into that room, distorting your sound. And we don't want that as we go lower in pitch that the tongue starts to depress down, also distorting your sound and kind of messing with the airflow and causing some tightness there in the glottis. Okay, we don't want that. So if you aren't sure if your tongue is doing either of those things, sit yourself in front of the mirror and watch the tongue. So we're going for no down or back activity necessary. That all will drop just a little bit, but we really don't want that to be too active, right? We want that room divider up, up, and away. So I'm gonna keep you in this E sound to start each pitch with the hopes that that e, e sound, that E vowel, that position of the tongue will help you stay out of the room from the beginning, right? So E to I as in mit. And well, let's just sing mit as well. And we'll go down in pitch, okay? And we'll, we'll make sure that we want the mouth to also be free. I'm giving you a lot of stuff here, so take your time. Here we go. We're gonna start right on that, that pitch. Let's do this. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
my chest voice loves to come in there. Emit. Great. Try that in your own range for your low notes. See how it feels. So now we're gonna do from E to E as in met, and as we go down in pitch, just let the mouth be relaxed. It's gonna have to open up a little bit for that E vowel, okay? <clears throat> I ate something right before this video and I can totally tell. I'm thinking of that that place I'm going to keep my ceiling tall. Emet. Great. Now let's do E to A as in hey. So E A hey. E chest voice coming in and you can also do chest voice before that depending on what feels good in your voice another thing you can do here is you can also do the you can use that slide okay so now let's do e ah as in awesome <laughs> like you okay so let's play with these awesome pitches down here keeping that mouth in that relaxed off position not too open and not tight so let's play with the slide e ah awesome e ah awesome e ah awesome remember Make sure it doesn't go back, right? Awesome, 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 awesome. Now let's start with that E vowel on the bottom notes right there and let's move through these vowels, right? Um, let's see, that's a good one. Okay, so we're gonna do E and let's add in the O and the O. Oh, yeah, oh, right? Allow the breath to move those two, those tones, tall ceiling, room divider is not crowded or bunching into the back room, and the larynx is free to shift naturally, right? So let these vowels be small. We really don't want to overdo the mouth and be super open. We want it to feel really similar to how we would create that. Me, 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 me. It feels small to me, okay? So we're gonna use the resonance of the space and that vowel efficiency to let the tone ring. Now, if you're getting breathy down there, oh, lots of air is coming out, try some short staccatos to find that balanced onset, right? So, ha, 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 ha. Ah, you could also add the G in there. Gage gi go gu, gage gi go gu, gage gi go gu. Now, if the low notes are still feeling like they have too much pressure, right? Too much weight, try adding an H. Ha 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 ha. Ha he he ho hu, ha he he ho hu, ha. Those are low. Now let's try some words. As you test this out, you're still playing with lifting the ceiling, relaxing the larynx, exploring the tongue position, and not pushing the breath, right? You're letting the jaw be not too open, but relaxed and vowel efficiency. Now I know this is a lot to think about and toggle through, but this is the work. And just go slowly, take your time, bringing beautiful awareness to the instrument so that you can move to the next level. So now let's sing. Here's some words I picked out. Out. I love to sing, so here we go. I love 
love to sing. I love to sing. I love to sing. I love to sing. I love to sing. One more is going to be low. I love to sing. Right? I wouldn't really want to sing that in performance for my soprano voice, but I've got it if I absolutely need it and I could kind of, you know, kind of skirt in there a little bit. All right, so how does that feel? I love to sing. I'm checking tongue position, soft palate, relaxed larynx. I love to sing. Sing it with me. I love to sing. I love to sing. Also remember that many of you are singing with a mic. Let the mic work for you. Eat that mic on the low notes. Let the natural resonance of your beautiful voice happen and the mic will pick it up. The more we push those notes down there, the chances are they will rebel against you and you won't like the results. When applying to your song, figure out the vowels that you're singing first. What are, what are the vowels of each word that you are singing? in that low part. And also look at what happens right before it. Because as you notice, I took you from I. What happens right before you enter into those low notes and how can those notes before help you, right? So layer in these concepts slowly into those low pitches, on the pitches and the vowels, and then add the consonants to create the words and then take it up to tempo. With these concepts and exercises, you will start building rich, yummy, relaxed, resonant low notes. Don't be afraid to start small and then build in your volume. And don't be afraid to start in a more neutral place and then add your style or emotion. Start finding your place of balance where the voice is working in harmony. And you know, I think today it was very clear my voice type as a soprano, I can have low notes, absolutely, but they're gonna be different from someone that calls themselves a mezzo-soprano or that is a contralto or is an alto, right? So if you are a treble voice, be aware of what voice type you may be a part of and that way it'll give you some, some love and um, some awareness around where you are in your range and when those, those transitions need to happen, right? Singing is a process and we don't start at the finish line. We covered a lot today. Play with these ideas, have fun with them each day, have fun with this and let me know how it goes. Please feel free to message me with any questions that you have about this video. Sending you big hugs, okay? Have a great time exploring your rich and powerful low notes and as always, rejoice in your voice. Bye-bye.